Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in tens. In this tutorial we will do skip counting in tens with numbers up to 100. Now when we are counting in tens we don't need the number grid or the dot method it is actually one of the easiest to work out. Let's look at our first example. We've got the number 0 and the question is what number comes after 10 if you are counting in tens? Well, let's suppose we've got the number zero. Well, we don't suppose. We know we've got the number zero. Okay. In effect, this is two zeros. This is units, and we've got tens. And if we are counting in tens, the only digit that should that is going to change out of these two is going to be the tens. The zero is added by 1 because we're counting in tens. So this becomes 1. The units remains the same. The tens goes up by 1. The answer is 10. Okay, just to make it even clearer, we'll work through another example. This time we've got number 30 number 30. So what number comes after 30 if we are counting in tens? So let's write number 30 down here. We've got the units and the tens. We're counting in tens and the only digit out of these two that's going to change is the 3. The 3 goes to 4. The 0 doesn't change. That remains as it is. So therefore the number after 30 when counting in tens is 40. Okay, and you can probably see how easy this is. Now we've got one final example. This time we've got number 80. What number comes after 80 if we are counting in tens? Now have a look at this. The 8 goes to 9. The 0 does not change. There we go. From goes from 80 to 90. It really is that simple. Skip counting in tens is one of the simplest you will do.